you might be using chat gpt and you might have seen an option which says explore gpt what exactly it is and how different it is from using the normal chat gpt interface that is what we are going to see in this video hi everyone welcome back to the next video in the gpt series my name is Mukesh Kala and these are my LinkedIn details. Feel free to send me a connection request and I would be happy to be part of your network. In this playlist, we are actually trying to explore how can I utilize GPT and understand the concepts around it. In the previous videos of the playlist, we have already covered all these topics. Feel free to go to the playlist and explore any of this if you are interested to learn any of the previous topics. Before directly jumping to the video, in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the same playlist. Having said that, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing first, where exactly is this Explore GPT available? I am on the Chat GPT interface. I can click here, expand it, and you can see that I have something which is called the Explore GPT, which is available in the menu. When I click on that, you would see that it has a lot of GPTs which are coming here, and this is what we are going to see to that that where actually as a developer as a user i can utilize them okay so this is where you find the explore gpt option okay so the first thing first what exactly are these explored gpt as in the mentioned in the slide these are the pre-configured gpts which are available for us to utilize depending on the task the domain or the persona which i have so for example, I can be a guy who is uh, finance. I can be someone who is in the HR. Now when I am doing or searching anything on the GPT, I would like it to give me the answer as per my domain, the tone I am using or the language which you use in our industry. Take an example, a legal drafting GPT know how to use the formal language and the templates right so basically these are the predefined gpts which are available as per our tone as per our persona and as per our domains okay now people who are already using gpt for a while you might have a question that yes this is good but how it is different from writing directly my query on the chat itself i can always go click on the new chat and start this conversation and that is your answer Whenever you do a new chat, you must need to manually write the complete description. You need to give the complete context. You need to give the complete background, which means that you end up spending a lot of time in giving the background and the context and your industry knowledge to the GPT. Right now, before we directly jump into the explore gpt i want to show you some of the parameters or some of the things which you can actually explore while exploring the gpts right so the first thing is we have something which is called the domain specific expertise meaning that we have gpts available which are equipped with specialized knowledge to handle the specific task more efficiently as per your domain to give an example, I can have a finance GPT that is focusing more towards the precise calculation. Whereas I can also have a creative GPT which is more trained and gives me output and be more creative. So that's called a creating GPT. Now, again, the same question, how it is different from writing into the new chat? The model is a general purpose. The one which you see at the top, GPT-40, that is for general purpose and it has a whole lot of instruction, whole lot of output. This one is specifically built for that domain, right? So you can have uh, GPTs, customized GPTs for domains, right? So in other words, domain specific expertise, okay? Now, let's talk about the efficiency and the speed. So. No need to repeatedly specify the context and the desired output for the recurring task. 
so for example if i am a finance gpt i do not have to every time give the same background and the same context to the gpt again and again so for example i am creating content for my youtube and every time if i am not using these predefined gpts i have to go to the gpt and i have to tell that hey i am a youtuber i have this channel my audience is rpa ui part developers and they are trying to learn the gpts right so now it tailors that for me however if i use a content creation gpt and i set all these parameters i do not have to do it again and again so that internally saves times for me example could be a customer support gpt instantly generate the responses in the desired tone a project management gpt giving the task a project plan in a manner which you require how it is different again the same thing if you are giving the prompt from the scratch that means you are spending more time on it so which means that explode gpt is giving you more efficiency and more speed okay the next parameter is advanced functionality now some of the integrated tools or the features like file analysis api access or advanced workflow are available into your explore gpts right take an example a specialized gpt for document analysis which can parse pdf or sp spreadsheet more effectively as compared to the new gpt option which sometimes give you different responses how it is different the existing one is limited to text based responses unless you manually guide the model to perform the specific function but for example i have a gpt which i am telling that hey it is an excel specific gpt or a pdf specific gpt i do not have to every time guide the model to do the same so which means that i have some advanced functionality when i use the explore gpts okay the last one is consistency in the output right output is something that is what we need from the gpt when i use the explore gpt option i have the pre configured consistent output which means that every time i give a uh, input i am expecting the same set of output from the explore gpt for example if i am using a uh, gpt which is tailored for the sales the sales pitch will con constantly structure output with the maximum persuasion a study guide gpt will always organize the response into the lesson formats so which means that depending on your domain and the persona if you are a sales person you would have a different format if you are a student you would have a different format if you are a developer you would have a different format of output right so consistency in the output again how it is different depending on the new chat whenever you have to get some option you might get it into a different format and you need to refine the output again and again that is not the case in the explore gpts right so i hope you guys understand that how new chat is different from explore gpt if that is the case just comment down let's say understood the difference and i would know that yes you guys are on the same page right now a question arises when should i use what so i have just put three points in each so you should use the explore gpt when you have recurring task that need specific expertise or format you have complex workflows which need efficiency and consistency and you are somebody who is in a specific domain legal finance or any coding task and you should use the chat new chat when you have one of the more questions like a generic queries or you want a open ended brainstorming or creative exploration right you want to have a open ended discussion with the gpt you want to have more creative exploration you want to have inputs from the wider area go and use the new chat but if you want to do something with domain which is more complex and recurring task you would like to use the explore gpts okay so with that background now let's try to go and click on this guy which says explore the gpts and here you would see all lot of options you have all these different uh, tabs which are available topics daily writing productivity which one you want you can just get started from here and these are some of the topics right you have also a section which says that which are by the chat gpt gpt created by the chat gpt team there you have all these options which are available right? 
right and you can do something with the images you can do with the writing you can do with the productivity right so for example you the thumbnails and all which you see on my channel that are coming from canva okay so let's say today i want to create something on canva and i want some ideas from the gpt right so i can always go to the productivity section and click on this guy which says canva and then i can just go here and i say start the chat right so now you would notice that this guy is now canva which is again uh, meant for doing all this stuff you can ask it all these details right okay so i go here and i write a prompt which says that i want a thumbnail for a youtube video explaining chat gpt to my viewers okay so this is the same prompt uh, I'm giving to the chat GPT explore GPT option. I go here and I click on that. Okay. And now let's see what does it do. Canvas Canva is allowing uh, asking us that do I want to allow it because when you design something and you want to further modify, you can actually use the Canva website to edit the templates right and the same thing if i have to do into my own actual the new gpt thing that there it is a little different right so meanwhile this guy is opening let me quickly go and open a new session of chat gpt right and here i would write the same prompt which was this right now this is not into the canva this is into my normal chat of gpt and i just say send okay so i want a thumbnail for a youtube explaining the gpt to my viewers and you would see that it is with the help of delhi and with all the context it is giving and generating an image okay let's see right what both of the gpts are doing and how it is different i think this one is read ready so this has created a image which is like youtube understanding the chat gpt right so this is an image now if i go to the explore gpt you would see here this is what it has created for me right so you can click on the image and edit in the canva directly now i want you guys to just judge right which image is better right now the other thing you should actually remember so the people who are actually creating content might understand that this is the format which actually is required on youtube and this is more kind of a square image so it won't fit on the thumbnail the other thing is with this option i can click on this and it will open it in my canva account i'll just continue with my email i already have the account for canva and ideally now I should have option to edit it right give me more options okay and this is where I can actually now go and edit it right so exploring with AI with chat GPT what is chat GPT these are all the text which are customizable for me however if I go here if I just go and say give me more options right so the chat gpt canva uh, okay i need to allow it every time i don't know why so when i say give me more options it is again running the engine and it is going to give me some of the generic output however since canva understand it so video youtube right does not look like a thumbnail however if i go here you can see that it is giving me a couple of more option along with the link which i can actually go and edit it right say this one unlocking chat gpt for everyone learn how to use ai effectively right so yeah this looks pretty good right this one discover the power of ai i can uh, i can change this image with my image feel free to click on the thumbnail and directly edit it in the canva right so that is how you actually use the gpt right and i hope you uh, are on the same way <laughs> and i hope by looking at the result now you believe that the explore gpt is giving a much better option let me know in the comments if you feel otherwise okay okay so i hope you like the canva one let's try to do something else and then you guys can explore more on your own right so i'm just trying to do with the featured and the first one i see is a ai pdf drive chat create and organize 
uh, it says that it has all the section let's try to see what exactly does this too okay so we have started a file to upload the chat with the folder chat with a folder of documents and then you can scan an OCR my PDF upload with the chat create polished PDFs right let's try to see that okay so for that what I have got is I have got this uh, week uh, quarterly financial summary which has some of the sample data right and meanwhile I'll just go here and try to open a new chat here as well it's already on the new chat okay so now what I'll do is I'll just upload the file first into the AI PDF chat okay and the same thing we are going to do into the normal thing as well okay and let's try to write some prompt okay so let's say create a, a report in PDF or met or maybe just I will write polished report right that's what it claims create a polished report in PDF format send go back to the normal GPT and send right same file same prompt let's see what happens okay so for the AI PDF drive I have got this report your polished report is ready blah 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 let's try to see that view and download the report it's taking me to the my AI drive generating your PDF let's see right what it has actually done quarterly report prepared by this I have an option to edit the PDF executive summary detailed quarterly review regional insights recommendations looks a bit pretty neat right and if I just have to show you the input this was the input which I had given right so yeah regional and the product performance did I have that section here quarterly financial yeah I didn't have that regional section actually here right so yeah it's pretty good and a neat report right let's go to the GPT uh, which is the tick, 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 the normal one it has also created this one the polish report has been successfully created let's try to click on that and let's see where it takes me it directly downloads I have an option to open the file and it has just put the same thing in a PDF format I don't have an option to edit or do anything however with the AI drive I got this I have an option to edit the PDF as well how cool is that right so this is something which I like about the personalized GPT and the other thing which you would notice that whatever you are doing are getting saved here you also has an option to go here and remove them from here okay so with that I believe you guys will now explore the GPTs there are a lot of things which are available here by chat GPT you can try with the logo image tattoo and all these stuffs which are available into the explore GPT and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite GPT and if there is anything which you have found which is very useful or insightful feel free to post it on the comments and I will ping it so that other people can also go to the comments and find more of the explore GPTs right okay so with that I would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching I would appreciate your feedback on the content and see you in the next video